Hi, today I'd like to show you how to make easy way kimchi. Last time I made a video, traditional way made the kimchi. So a lot of my friends requesting how to make easy kimchi. So I'd like to show you how to do it. So I bought uh, just Tesco, I just popped to Tesco, bought two cabbage. It's quite thin cabbage. Uh, I don't think it takes too long to preserve with the sea salt. About 1300, 1 1.3 kilogram. So last time I did uh, cut the in the pour section and marinade, but today I like to do easy way to show you. So cut right there, coals. So this one just uh, I got a prepared about a uh, pint water, look warm pint water. So I'm going to use a two tablespoon sea salt and I will dissolve with the bear. So I'll leave it like this. Just cut like this. So I might keep this one as well, not to throw away. So maybe cut So I will sprinkle like this. And this is another half. Open. It's very nice cabbage. But sometimes very thicker cabbage and maybe takes more longer preserving sea salt. But this one, I think about two hours, then I think should be okay. So just keep that one as well. You can see it's a sprinkle, sea salt. And this one I will cut the half each. It's been dissolved, so I like the pouring over top to more easy to process, preserve with the sea salt. So, see you later on. I bought a couple of weeks ago, I went to Korean shop. I bought a Korean uh, natural sea salt. I think make uh, good kimchi, so I would recommend coarse Korean sea salt. I'd like to show you how to make a, a vegetable stock. Uh, I bought 
Tesco this big muli and this I went to Korean shopping center I bought this muli but same old type of muli I just show you what's like but I'm going to use uh, this muli I bought Tesco to move this one then I um, might be cut the this much muli and some onion half size onion but I might just use the skin as well so I just cut like this then use the stock and I just I wouldn't remove all the skin just some better part I just use a little bit remove because skin is very goodness as well so just like this some leek I'm going to use that one and so sea kelp kombu or we call it tashima and I this is an older pair so I think I like to use my stock with the skin I just trimmed off a little bit then use uh, my vegetable stock like that so you notice it's a quite vegetable stock I'm going to use and some apple I use some couple date but I open so can uh, boil inside the goodness as well so I will use like this as well so make sure and seed also boil seed is very goodness as well so we try to all take all goodness to my uh, vegetable stock and I'm going to use some uh, leftover some cabbage I bought but I've been used and then just leftovers I'm going to use uh, some copper some cabbage and uh, last month was a lot uh, season for the pumpkin so I'm going to use uh, pumpkin with the skin to stock about this much Maybe I might use it with the seed as well. So that all ingredient. Then I'm going to use also 1.5 liter uh, water I'm going to use. This all my ingredient. I'm going to pour in 1.5 liter water. That's another half a pint then tashima kombu or sea kelp and some apple and cabbage left over my cabbage and the poor date with the open seed apple And some pear, leftover pear. So with a skin onion, half a size. And some daikon mu muli. And some leek. So I'm going to high heat 10 minutes, then low heat about one hour to I'm going to boil. So See you one hour later. I'm going to make porridge, but I like to today use a, a ingredient. It's a porridge ingredient. It's a Khorasan wholemeal ancient flour, which is low level of sugar. 
and control diabetes and heart disease. So I think I like to have a go with this ingredient. But obviously you can use a sweet uh, rice flour and rice flour, all-purpose flour, or even cook the rice. You can make a porridge fine. So I just use quarter cups flour. Quarter cup. Quarter cup flour. Then one cups water. Then I'm going to So it's consistency is a bit like this. That is all porridge is done. So I introduce some ingredients. Six garlic clove, medium size, ginger one tablespoon, one tablespoon shrimp paste, two tablespoon sesame seeds and four uh, fresh chili I'm going to use, I'm going to blend and one tablespoon fish sauce and four tablespoon dry chili flake gochugaru I'm going to use three tablespoon sugar and which I use Korean uh, shrimp paste, seojat and anchovy sauce, fish sauce which I've been used going to use. So I bought some Korean muli. I'm going to use about one third and six spring onion. So I'm going to use a blender but I just for chili I just cut. I'm going to use a seed as well. I'll just cut small piece to easy blend the food processor. Some ginger. Cut this way, easy to blend the garlic. So it's a full fresh chili. I'm going to put the food process with the seed as well. Then one apple and six garlic cloves, one tablespoon ginger.
So two tablespoon fish sauce, one tablespoon shrimp paste, seojat, and two tablespoon sesame seed. I'm going to use, and four tablespoon dry chili flake, gochugaru, three tablespoon sugar. I'm going to use. Two table. This is a two tables. So I'm going to use just half a bit. So mix. So I'm waiting for my vegetable stock still boiling. So I'm going to adding all the, my vegetable stock as well. So meanwhile, my um, Chinese cabbage being uh, preserved with sea salt, I like to turn over to preserve sea salt evenly. So I might do 30 minutes later to turn over again. So, but do gently, please. Okay, see you again half an hour later. So my vegetable stock being uh, boiled one hour so I'm going to only use a switch off I'm going to use only half a cup I'm going to cooling down then I'm going to adding my all the sauce so I bought some Korean mealy I'm going to use uh, one third. Just cut the edgy. Uh, I don't want, I like to keep the skin, so cut a little bit on the little better side. I just trim it. The skin always is a goodness, so I keep it this way. Sauce is going there. And next one, I'm going to do spring onion. So um, I like to cut the cross cut. So I'll just save my time. While my uh, vegetable stock, uh, half cups, so it's been cooled down, so I'm going to mix all together to so make a delicious kimchi. As you notice, um, 
애플, 페, 아, 뮬리, 다이콘, 시켈프, and some onions, and that dry date, and all the goodness to stock makes a delicious kimchi. So, it's my paste is all done. Just a half an hour later, so I just turn over again. To leave one more hour, I think about the two hours to should be okay because this is quite uh, thin uh, layer cabbage. So see you later, one hour later. So my Chinese cabbage been uh, preserved with the sea salt about two hours. So I washed about three times. It's ready for the batch. So just like that. My kimchi sauce. I'm gonna pour in just uh, I think all of them So kimchi um, is all done. Done. So now it's the beginning of December. I will leave a room temperature. I don't know how different summertime and winter. So I will um, leave room temperature. Then after fermented, then I will show you video again. So see you again. So I have made some uh, my uh, vegetable stock. Been boiled low heat about one hour. So now it's been cooled down. And this is an empty honey jar. So I sterilized earlier. It's all for ready to Then about three jar. So next, uh, when you make kimchi for the next uh, kimchi batch, you can make it. And this one you can discard. Three days ago, I made uh, this kimchi. So now it's well fermented. So I show you. It's kind of, uh, as you can see, it's a lot of bubbling. So now. My kimchi been uh, fermented uh, well, so I like to keep the refrigerator now to up to a couple of weeks. This is only a small amount of kimchi, so I hope you enjoy this recipe.
If you enjoyed watching this video, I like your comment and subscribe, thumbs up, and notice bell for when I release new interesting video.